Hello everyone, it's another nasty day outside. So um, I had some people asking me how I have my radio set up. So I figured I would show you um, how I have it set up. And if you like it, you can do it and tweak it or whatever. Uh, what we're gonna do today is I'm gonna turn the camera around. I got a fan running on my air unit so I can show you my OSD and the switches and all that stuff. Might make it work pretty good. I got my camera set up here. Um, this is again the Radio Master Boxer ELRS and I'll be recording my iNav with OBS. So this should be a pretty detailed video. Of course I got wires running everywhere. This is what I have to do guys to make these videos. Oh and there's a 3D printer going off in the background too. That thing's going to be printing for like another 16 hours. So without further ado, let's jump into the video. Alright everyone, starting off here. I'm going to show you a little trick of the trade. Right now, I cannot arm my um, my dolphin because it is not outside. It has no GPS signal. If you want to try to arm your plane without GPS and just bypass it, y'all stick to the right and do that. And I'm going to look in my goggles. We're going to make sure it is recording. Now, I got my ESCs unplugged. I got to do something for these cameras here uh, to sync everything. Alrighty, so here's where we're going to start. Let's go ahead and jump into iNav. This is iNav 7.1, by the way, but this is the same as it's been since iNav 6 and everything else. Um, as you can see, we're going to go to my receiver. Everything's working, so roll, pitch. Of course, I don't have yaw, throttle. Uh, this is my, my arm. I can't hit it right now because it'll stop the recording. Navigation return to home. Navigation return to home. Return to home. Navigation return to home. Horizon mode. Acro mode on. Angle That's my channel mode. nine. Acro mode on. Navigation That's my channel eight. Off. Manual mode. Channel off. ten. Manual mode. Off. Channel seven. And then these buttons down here Navigation. I have on channel Navigation. fourteen. Navigation. Oh yes, and the top. Uh, Eleven. And 12. If I had tilt on my camera, this is what I would use. All right, so now that that's done, let's come back here. And I have my arm on channel 5. So, right here, this is my arm button, my arm switch at the very top. I think this is what a lot of people use, so I use it. Uh, moving down the list, uh, we'll go to my flight modes. I use this side over Acro here mode for my flight Horizon modes. Mode. So we have Acro mode on. Angle, mode. angle, Acro, mode on. Acro. Horizon mode. and Horizon mode. And as you can see, Acro I'm all moving on. there angle. on the list. Acro mode on. I'll slide that down a little bit. This is my return to home. Coming over here on the side, this is my manual. manual mode. This is what off. bypasses manual everything. This is, this is what I fly in 90% of the time, unless I'm just cruising. Off. This is what we use for the pan system. Ah, uh, what else? Off. This off right here, this is for, um, let me That's scroll. Off. Let me scroll down here. So, if one of these is selected, I have to have, if I need to turn something off, this is my off button. So, I don't know if that sounded right. Navigation cruise. This is my cruise mode. Okay. These other modes, you just, I can't really use them together, so this is why I do it down here. So, cruise. Navigation position hold. That's my loiter position hold. That does nothing. That does nothing. Auto. And this is what I do for an auto tune. So since I can't use auto tune with loiter or cruise or um, position hold, whatever you want to call that, this is how I use my auto tune. And then these are just, I haven't set them up yet. I don't know what I'm going to use them for. They're just there. And then if I don't want to use, Navigation, if I don't want it to cruise or I don't want Navigation, it to loiter, hold. Off. I turn it off. This right here, I had set up for a waypoint, so you're going to hear it say waypoint or something, 
but this is for an alternate OSD, which is what I'm going to use when I do my video. So if I flip this up, navigation waypoint. Excuse me. If I flip this down, there we go. That's my alternate OSD, oh. and then that takes it back to normal. If I had a pan, if I had a tilt system on my camera, that's what I use this one for. So usually I would use these when I'm cruising, and I could just set the cruise. Navigation cruise. And then I could pan around, and I could do this, I could do that, and uh, piece oh. of cake. So that pretty much, in a nutshell, is what we got. Um, when I launch my aircraft, I always launch in angle mode. Angle mode. Um, I arm it, and then once it's armed, I either do return to, home, return to home, or I'll just set it in cruise, cruise. and it just kind of flies straight, or I just have it set Navigation to loiter. 99% of the time, what I do is when I launch, after you arm it, then you can set your flight mode. So then I'll go, Navigation, return to home. I'll do return to home. And that's pretty much it. For me having it like this set up, um, I find like if I get into trouble and I'm and I'm flying and I'm trying to say something happens and I just need to hit the the oh shit button, I just go boom and it's there. Ah, uh, when I land, a lot of times I land in um, angle mode if it's nice and no breeze. If it's a little breezy, I'll land in in horizon so I have a little bit more authority. But this way it allows me to keep my hand on this side. And then I can flick these back and forth. And then, of course, manuals right there. Um, I do not use this one at the top right now for anything. Um, I had it set up for, I believe, to shut the LEDs off, but I just don't use it. Um, you know, it would be, I don't know what you want to use it for. But, again, that is it. So... I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions on this. Now, there's a ton of videos on how to set this up. Painless 360, that's who I watched. Help me with a lot of this stuff. So hopefully that helps you guys, and we'll see you on the next video. Bye.